Hi, I'm John O'Connor from Bailey's here in Tauranga. In my last residential property update, I shared with you March's statistics which demonstrated a slowdown in the market. I indicated that the activity in April would highlight some of the challenges that we are now facing. So let's see what happened. For April in Tauranga, the median price was 942500 down just under 2% from last month, but there were only 88 sales, which is 60% less than March, a significant drop. It took 42 days to sell a property, six days longer than a month ago, and the number of listings in Tauranga was 530 compared to 460 in March. The majority of viewers hunting for property online were located in the Bay of Plenty, Auckland, Waikato, Canterbury and Wellington regions. Let's take a look at the Mount Monganui and Papamaya results which paint a similar picture. The median was 1,125,000 which like Tauranga was a 2% decrease. There were 78 sales for the month, down 16% from the 91 in March and on average it was taking 40 days to sell a property, 5 days more than the previous month. The number of listings at the Mount and Papamoa was 369 compared to 310 in March. And the top five locations of viewers were again in the Bay of Plenty, Auckland, Waikato, Canterbury and Wellington regions. The high volume of houses coming to the market this past two months means that supply is now outstripping demand. Rising interest rate, inflationary numbers, tightening credit, COVID disruptions, shortened weeks and the media commentary all played their part in April, so it's no surprise that the data reflects this. The good news is that many of the properties on the market have conditional contracts on them. This is becoming more commonplace with buyers having more choice and therefore more time to make purchasing decisions or perhaps to sell their existing home first. This pushes out the number of days to sell and only when these agreements go unconditional will they show in the data. So over the May and the June months, we expect the sales numbers to normalise. There is no doubt that there is uncertainty in what the rest of 2022 will bring. But here at Bailey's, we focus on what we can control and have successfully helped our clients in this segment of the market cycle many times before. If selling your property in the near future is a priority, then obtaining trusted advice, employing a sound marketing strategy and having access to the best resources is vital. Working with Baileys, you can have the confidence that together we have the experience, the expertise and the energy to help you with your property goals, no matter what the external factors might be. If you have any questions about any of this information or would like to chat about your real estate needs, please reach out to either myself or any of our friendly team would welcome the opportunity to help.